afternoon it's uh, Wednesday July 29th man July's gone already we're here behind the parsonage uh, here at Zwingli UCC I'm Pastor Lance Smith and today it's Wednesday so it's hump day it's time for another hump day devotional uh, midweek devotional series so today I'm thinking about a psalm that I really really like it's Psalms 36 and I was drawn to Psalms 36 by the third day psalm Psalms 36 and I loved the song and I loved his voice singing it and and um, started listening to it and I realized it was directly from this this psalm well I got that psalm out and was reading it the other day and I realized just how much it fits with where we are in our lives today we're in a world that is very very strange um, it's hard to sort truth from fiction it's hard to sort fact from opinion it's hard to sort things out and know which direction to head and what to believe and we're in a place where we have to think about what speaks to our hearts so I thought I'd share Psalms 36 with you it talks about a time that's the same as what I'm feeling right now transgression speaks to the wicked deep in their hearts there is no fear of God before their eyes for they flatter themselves in their own eyes that their iniquity cannot be found out and hated the words of their mouth are mischief and deceit and they have ceased to act wisely and do good they plot mischief while on their beds they are set on a way that is not good they do not reject evil Your steadfast love, O Lord, extends to the heavens, your faithfulness to the, faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountains, and your judgments are like the great deep. You save humans and animals alike, O Lord. How precious is your steadfast love, O God. All people may take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house and you give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the fountain of life, in your light we see light. O oh, continue your steadfast love to those who know you, and your salvation to the upright of heart. Do not let the foot of the arrogant tread on me, Lord, or the hand of the wicked drive me away. There, are, there the evildoers lie prostrate. They are thrust down unable to rise it's an interesting psalm and I think David whoever or the psalmist whoever wrote it was in a situation a lot like we're in you can't tell the truth from from tale can't tell fact from opinion it seems like everybody's got something different to say and a lot of times they're opposing and sometimes it's hard to sort out what's right and what's wrong and where you want to stand on these issues and where you should be and and should you take a complete stand? Well, it's interesting. I think that we need to look towards God. And we need to look at nature and look at the world. And that whole part about where it says, Your love, O Lord, is higher than the mountains. I think that's the part we need to focus on. Because that's the part that speaks to our hearts. And as long as we do things from the heart, anything done with love, will be godly so I'd like to share that song with you if you don't mind I hope you don't mind because I've got it in my head and I can't get it out so here we go usually when you get a song in your head the best thing to do is sing it your love alone Reaches to the heavens Your faithfulness Reaches to the sky Your righteousness Is like a mighty mountain yeah. Your justice, Lord Flows like the ocean's tide 
And I will lift my voice Worship you my king I will find my strength Beneath the shelter of your wings Your love, O oh Lord Reaches to the heavens Your faithfulness Reaches to the sky Your righteousness Is like a mighty mountain Your justice, Lord Flows like the ocean's tide I will lift my voice To worship you, my King I will find my strength Neath the shadow of your wings Your love, O oh Lord Reaches to the heavens Your love, O oh Lord Reaches to the heavens Amen.